so what I've done here to prep everything, I have used my Be Right cleaning solution. And basically you put this stuff in a little bit of water and you clean all your stuff out. It doesn't contain any chlorine, so it won't give you any bad taste. You can rinse it out with some cold water. So everything clean, everything sterile. Now what we've done here is we've taken off the labels to our malt extract, placed the cans in some hot water because apparently this stuff is very, very thick. This helps it uh, flow out just a little bit easier. So what we have here is a pot of water, just about a gallon to a gallon and a half of it. And we're boiling it up. It's just reaching a boil right now. What we're about to do is add our two cans, about 3.3 pounds each of the malt extract into the pot, along with our hot pellets. Now for first time brewers, when you first uh, smell your um, malt extracts, they kind of have like a tomato soupy kind of smell. They don't smell like beer yet, so don't get don't get worried. Also, uh, when you open your hop pellets pouch, or if you're adding actual whole hops, and you smell it, it's very fragrant. It's, it reminds you of like an extremely hoppy IPA if you haven't actually smelled an actual hop or hop pellets. Very strong. So. Let's remove our pot from the burner for just a small minute, and let's add our extract. Let it cool for a second. And what we're going to do is, like I said, add the malt extract to the um, water. So we'll take a long hand spoon, also um, sterilize, start pouring in. Now that we've just added our two um, cans of the malt extract and a packet of one ounce of, of the hops, we're going to stir it a little bit and then put it back on the burner so it foams a little bit and hopefully for a good half an hour we will brew. Now we've turned the fan on because uh, the kitchen has actually started to reek, almost like an exact combination of what I was saying before. Uh, a little bit of that hoppy IPA kind of smell to it and that... Um, uh, tomato soup almost kind of smell. Alright, so it's been brewing for about 10 minutes. It's starting to get to a boil now. It's starting to pop up a little bit. At this point, it's also starting to foam. Gotta make sure you keep stirring. Alright, so to prepare our carboy over here, we have to add three gallons of cold water into it. So on our side here, real easy, you fill it right up to the three gallon mark. What I've done, uh, you can do it a different way. I've uh, just hooked up the tube to the carboy, that way I don't have to worry about using a funnel, spilling the water all over the place. So, pretty lazy, turn the tap on, and we're starting to fill. Okay, so it's been about a half an hour, a little bit after half an hour of boiling the uh, wort. We got it right here. We filled up our carboy, about three gallons worth of water, and now we're gonna wait for this to cool down just a little bit, and we're gonna add it to our carboy. So we are right now cooling off the warts. It's uh, about 160 degrees Fahrenheit, so we need to get it down to about 90 degrees before we put it into our carboy over here. So what I've done is I've uh, filled the sink with cold water, put the ice cubes in there just to cool it down just a little bit faster. We are going to go from the uh, bucket into here like we did with the water. Let it flow. What we're doing now is we're going to take our original gravity rating with our hydrometer. So we filled up this tube with our wheat beer, wort, and we will drop this guy in here. And we'll see which part it floats at. This will tell us in the end how much alcohol percentage is in our beer. It's tough to tell, but it's at 1.02 right now, which technically should yield uh, about a, a little bit over 5% alcohol. Alright, now what we're going to do is take the yeast, pour it on top. Make sure I get all that in there. Now we'll wait a couple minutes, and then we're going to uh, stir it around. Now, just out of curiosity, I'm going to taste the uh, 
the batch right now just to see what it tastes like before adding yeast and alcohol and the sugar is still here. It tastes similar to tea, very sugary, a very, very sugary tea at this point, which makes sense, it's malt, but definitely not beer yet. Okay, so we put our yeast in, we shook it up a little bit to stir it up, we put our rubber stopper in with our airlock on top, filled it about halfway with water. Like I said before, this lets the carbonation get out of the bottle without anything bad getting in. So you're asking yourself, well, how does there still carbonation in the beer? Well, I'll show you in the next step after about a week when we bottle this stuff. Put a little bit of priming sugar in each of the bottles, helps um, the carbonation stay in the bottle and actually make a nice carbonated beverage. So, we'll see you in about a week when we bottle. What's the use of getting sober? When you're gonna get a drunk again Oh Sam done something fine When it bought that Wow that was that was really really educating I feel Oh, 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 I know what you feel, John. You feel that you can't wait for the next episode and that everyone should leave comments and ratings on this video. I couldn't agree more.